All right, so here we've got a uh, 1293. It's got single point hookup, dual shafts, uh, a good head. I think I'm going to show you right here in the pan. There is a little crack in the pan right there. And um, they put, so it looks like it's got new bottom sprockets. I think it's got less than 2,000 hours. We should have all that listed, but less than 2,000 hours on uh, on the, the rolls. So the chain sprocket rolls, it's got the uh, it's got the brand listed. It does have a little wave in the auger right here on the end, which is very common things that I'm pointing out. But the poly on this, um, poly's good. A little dings in it, but it's not uh, broke or anything like that. But I, I think that the rolls look like they're in very good shape. They are knife rolls and they got low acres. And I would guess when they did this, I, I would imagine it was a couple thousand dollars a row to do what they did. Um, but all in all, it's a decent head for the age of the age of the unit. You can see little dings right here in the snouts, but there's nothing really. I don't see where it's like really wore through or been packed or anything like that. Right here, come to the back side. I'll show you on this back side. There is. I was thinking there was, but I didn't see it. So right here, like you'll see where there's a little bit of uh, stress on the edge of the poly. Right there, right here. Uh, thinking there's a couple others I saw it on. Right here. You can see it's had some deck plate work and stuff. I mean, this head should mechanically be in very good shape. It's not new by any means, but there is some poly wear on some of the edges. A few dings in the poly. Uh, but as far as the, the row units... Uh, that have been upgraded and updated and we have the name of that online that's what they call those um, but that's the things I see with the head in general I think the head will go run but it's not new by any means